don't like. Don't you dare try to... Hello, Jim Freedom, resident of Earth. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Oh, boy, here comes that annoying Freedom guy. It's coming up here to, you know, I'm the guy that thinks the Constitution trumps your meeting rules. How silly of me, I know. Uh, I don't actually believe that, though. I, I'm, I'm more aligned with Lysander Spooner, who pointed out that the Constitution has either authorized such a government as we've had, or it's been powerless to prevent it. Either way, it's unfit to exist. We need something new. Uh, I do what I do just to prove that the supreme law of the land is a stupid joke and none of you follow its rules. We'll never be able to fix the problems in our society when our representatives don't play by the rules that we all thought were in place. Uh, to the people watching online or later, your anger is righteous and justified. The servants have written their own new rules that contradict freedom and use their army of order-following cowards with badges to punish enough of us effectively, making us their servants. Uh, don't you dare walk across that street in a place we don't like. Don't you dare make certain noises with your mouth that we don't like. Don't you dare try to record public court proceedings. Don't you dare grow a food garden in your own front yard. Don't you dare assemble a protest in a way or place we don't like. Don't you dare travel in a vehicle without using a seatbelt. Don't you dare sell tamales without paying for our permission first. You see where I'm going with this? These are all violations of freedom that you all just think are normal and they're unacceptable. To a society that thinks that these threats are acceptable, that's a profoundly sick society and Krishna Murthy points out it's no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. The few good things that do come out of this building could be easily replaced by voluntary systems that don't require terrorism and revenue generating for funding. You can get your money through voluntary means. You don't have to do it through the traditional ways. Just because that's been the way we've been doing it forever doesn't mean we always have to do it. I'm here to suggest that you need to dig within yourselves, not you guys, everybody else because i know you guys are just listening until i'm done so you can say thank you and then go on with your lives uh anyways that's all I pretty much have to say with that for the last minute uh i just wanted to point out one thing that Corey said that i didn't like in a facebook uh it was a facebook advertisement and i quote vaccines getting vaccinated is what keeps us free to do the things we want end quote can, can you hear how that sounds? Can you hear how messed up that sounds? I mean, I know that's off topic from everything else I had, but it just, just the people in this room, they, they even pointed out the people said one thing about an issue and then you guys said seven zero the other way. I mean, that, that's the way it is. You guys don't listen. You don't care. And I'm just here to voice that out so more people can be made aware of that because as soon as we reach a critical mass of people that are aware of what's actually happening, then we can start to work on how to change it. Last thing I want to say is fuck your warnings. All right. Hello, Jim Freedom, resident of Earth. Uh, I know what you're thinking of.